Hi, readers of the International Journal of Nanomedicine. My name is Gigi Chu, and I'm from the Department of Pharmacy, National University of Singapore. Today, I'm very happy to share with you the key findings of our published article titled Functionalized Carbon Nanomaterials, Exploring the Interactions with CACO2 Cells for Potential Oral Drug Delivery. As pharmacists, we are quite familiar with the use of activated carbon in treating drug poisonings and overdoses, and this becomes an inspiration to our current work, and we want to see if the carbon nanomaterials could be given orally. We are encouraged to see from several toxicological studies that these materials have minimal toxicity when given orally in rodent animal models. So in our current work, we want to see how these nanomaterials would interact at the cellular level using the CACO2 cell monolayer, which is a well-established model to study oral drug absorption. We have tested three most commonly used functionalized carbon nanomaterials, and they include the polyhydroxylated small gap fullerenes, carboxylic acid functionalized single walled carbon nanotubes, and the polyethylene glyco functionalized single walled carbon nanotubes. Our first key finding is that these nanomaterials are not toxic to the CACO2 cell monolayer, as shown by the results from two different viability assays, the LDH release assay and the MTT assay, with the cells exposed to the nanomaterials for 24 hours. So next, we are wondering if the nanomaterials are capable of altering the intestinal absorption barrier, which may have potential in improving oral drug delivery. We found that the carboxylic acid functionalized carbon nanotubes was the most effective in enhancing paracellular per permeability as demonstrated by three different techniques. These include probing the transepithelial electrical resistance of CACO2 monolayer, the permeability of lucifer yellow, which is a fluorescent probe normally impermeable to CACO2 cells, as well as the expression of the tight junction protein Z01 by confocal fluorescence microscopy. While increasing paracellular permeability could be taken advantage of for improving oral drug delivery, if the effect is irreversible, it may still represent a potential toxicity. So in this case, we have probed tear over time, and we found that upon removal of the carboxylic acid functionalized carbon nanotubes, the tear returned to normal level. In contrast, treatment with the detergent Triton X was irreversible. Another barrier to oral drug absorption is the presence of drug efflux pumps such as P-glycoprotein along the intestinal epithelium. Here we found that both carboxylic acid functionalized and PEG functionalized carbon nanotubes could significantly increase the accumulation of the PGP substrate, rhodamine 123 in CACO2 cells, even higher than the established PGP inhibitor, cyclosporin A. From this in vitro data, we are excited to see the potential of functionalized carbon nanomaterials in modulating the intestinal absorptive barrier, with increased drug transport as a result. The re different effects on the intestinal epithelium by the different types of functionalized carbon nanomaterials would create unique opportunities for drug-specific oral delivery applications. Our current study also contributed to the understanding of the toxicity potential of the functionalized carbon nanomaterials in intestinal epithelium. Thank you very much for watching this video abstract, and you're welcome to download our paper for the details of our study.